Now I'm a big pancake lover, and I always say this, never trust waffle lovers to make pancakes. Never trust pancake lovers to make waffles. They, they just don't understand. How could a waffle person possibly ever understand what a good stack of pancakes looks and tastes like? And the same thing goes the other way around. How could I, as a pancake person, possibly ever understand what good waffles look like? But I'm gonna try to today. I'm gonna try my absolute best, because you requested this recipe and I want to give it my absolute best. These are pretty damn delicious waffle people. Brace yourself because the pancake lover is going to make waffles for you today. The recipe itself is super easy. We're going to start with butter, melted. I like to pop it in the microwave, whatever works for you, as long as it's liquid. To the melted butter, add one egg and the milk. Give these ingredients a thorough mix and add the remaining ingredients, the flour, leavening agent, salt, and sugar. The full recipe will be in the description box below. Combine these ingredients well, do not overmix, but let's get rid of those lumps please, okay? I know some people will tell you a lumpy batter is good, but honey, lumps of flour and baking soda have never been a good idea. This looks pretty good to me. Batter's ready. Let's make waffles. Let's talk waffle iron. Now, I would recommend to you the waffle iron I'm using, but the outside coating started chipping after the first use. It does make excellent waffles though, I will say that. The waffle iron you use really doesn't matter as long as it has a good nonstick coating. Now making good waffles does come down to how you cook these. I'm gonna share some tips. While we preheat this, I do wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Fabulous, which is the number one self-care app to help you build better habits and achieve your goals. Consider it a digital coach that uses behavioral science and scientific proven healthy routines to help you develop great habits that stick. You download the app, take the quiz, and they'll do a personalized self-care program for you. You can choose between two programs, a self-guided one for habit building and tracking, as well as a guided approach with habit coaching. And with Fabulous Premium, you can improve an unlimited number of habits and take part in all programs. What I love the most is the daily tasks and challenges. It is so rewarding when you get to the end of the day and you've completed all the tasks. There's so many challenges to choose from. Right now, I'm doing a 14-day daily exercise challenge. I really struggle with daily exercise and this challenge has helped me stay on track. If you want to get motivated, if you want to start building your ideal daily routine, download Fabulous today. The first 100 people who click the link in the description box below will get 25% off a fabulous subscription. Now, out of all my years of making waffles, which is like five times, no joke. <laughs> I, I really don't. It's not that I don't like them. It's just, you know, if you can choose between waffles and pancakes, I, I just don't. I really am trying to understand why waffle people prefer waffles instead of pancakes. Just asking, okay? Anyway, instead of all my five times of making waffles, I quickly realized that using a really hot iron is the way to go. You want to preheat this well. I let mine preheat for a good five minutes. Now every waffle iron is different so I really can't say how long it's going to take for your waffle iron. If you have you know a preheat setting, if you have some light switching on and off, I don't know. But anyway you do want to preheat this well at least five minutes. What this does, it creates a really nice, crispy, dark, caramelized waffle. It's it's going to be good. And I do like to put it on the highest setting possible. And be generous with the filling. You don't want to go overboard because this will overflow and it's, it's not fun. Oh no! It's, it's, it's going to be really annoying to clean this. Be generous, but don't be too generous, okay? With this waffle recipe, you should be able to get two large waffles. Of course, double this recipe. Now, the cook time will really depend on your waffle iron and on your settings, how hot your waffle iron gets. A good indication, though, to know that your waffle is ready is when it stops steaming. You'll see steam come out of your waffle iron. When that stops, that means it's ready. You can obviously take this a little bit further or a little bit less depending if you want a softer waffle or a nice crispy golden waffle. Now you can't go wrong with butter and syrup. 
However, waffles for me have always been more of a street food, more of a dessert item, maybe served with ice cream, maybe with toppings. Pancakes make a great breakfast, but I will say waffles make a great late night treat. Let me know how you eat waffles. What do you consider them? Do you consider them more of a breakfast item or more of a street food item? I wonder if it's just a street food in Italy. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, these were delicious. Crispy, perfectly caramelized on the outside, but soft on the inside.